So I've got a restaurant where I've got to chop, grill, deep fry, and purchase all sorts of ingredients so I can make the best food possible, because there's some weird secret chef cult that I want to get into. And now in cooking, there's all sorts of spots you could start, but first, I need to get this place looking presentable if I want to have a five-star restaurant. Go! Get all of this trash out of my store. No one wants to eat where the raccoons do. Now for my menu, because I'm just starting out, the only thing I can make is grilled beef. It's really hard to mess it up. It's just beef that is grilled. You get it. Okay, the recipe tells me that I'll need some tomatoes. Let me get eight of those and eight things of parsley. The day tells me I'm gonna have six to eight customers, so I can only assume that's not gonna lie to me. And then four things of ribeye seem good. Let's cut this into an edible portion real quick, mainly because I'm trying to cheap out on my customers. <laughs> of both these things, three things of salt, three shakes of de pepper. And let's light this candle, huh? Tomato on, ribeye on. Need to flip that when that's done. It'll cook the other side somewhat nicely, I hope. I don't know. I'm kind of winging a majority of this right now. Tomato's done, though. Slice this bit up. Put you right there. Ribeye finished. Right there. I'll take out a thing of parsley. Smack. Bon appetit. How do we do? That's pretty good, I think. We are open. I think every one of these serves like three customers. At least these two dudes seem happy enough. All right, next portion's ready. Are you done? Give me this and your money. Pull your some room on. We got more customers coming. Let me put my dishes back in here. Come on, please. Oh yeah, so that took care of four customers, served my next one, which was, oh, that's, that's good reading. That should hopefully make everybody happy. I didn't even realize I could just open up this drawer and actually start stacking stuff in here. I might have bought a little too much parsley. I'm getting a hundred bucks per meal. Am I like a five-star restaurant? Why do your eyebrows look like that? A lot of questions. Here we go, and I've got my drawer ribeye in case of emergencies. Hard day's work over. Time to go brain rot and watch anime for five hours before bed. My usual routine. Did I dream up new recipe ideas? Chicken legs and french fries. Sure. Looks like I'll need chili pepper for this one and then some more tomatoes. Oh, have decayed food in your restaurant. Oh, no, not my drawer, ribeye. Who is this? Hello, master? Or maze are food judges? What? So if I bring Juan to my restaurant, I can unlock like new equipment for it. That's so silly. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, and these ones in the box are also rotten. Yeah. All right, I'm adding some more tables to my restaurant. Whoever sits in this chair, I mean, that's on you. But now I also want to get three service counters down because I'll be adding everything to the menu. Oh, wait, maybe not french fries. I don't have a deep fryer. Delete that one. Chicken legs it is. Are these people lining up for my restaurant? Dude, I feel so special. All right, give me some chili pepper. I think that's all I need from this guy. Let me get two ribeyes, four chicken legs. Oh, and my tomatoes rotted too in one day. 10 tomatoes, come on, buddy. So for the chicken legs, you season each one with salt and chili pepper, and then you smack them on the grill, along with one tomato. I'm learning that I don't actually need to flip until this little flame symbol pops up. Go ahead, do it. Pop up, coward. Why'd this chicken leg stop cooking? I don't know, but this one's done, so. Smack. It's like re-cooking. I can't say I quite get it. I'll just, I'll let it go. Give me that. Chicken legs completed. My baking was god awful. Overcooked. Shut up. It's the rib. I won't be so difficult. Wait, all my parsley rotted too? Dude, how does parsley rot in a day? I wasted so much money. Excuse me, sir. Welcome. Yes, blah, blah, blah. Give me the parsley. Might as well just be open now, too, because this is going to be the last little thing I need to make. Voila. Dinner is served. That's all green. I'll take it. Excuse me while I throw all these dang parsley pieces out. Oh, my restaurant leveled up. Yes. Dude, who just dumped their trash right here? Jerk. Give me your money. Give me your dish. Go in there. Give me your money. Give me your dish. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I guess... Uh, maybe I should have been keeping track of what they were eating. Because I don't really know which one I'm going to need to make. Okay, wait, the grilled beef is out. Oh no, I used one too many peppers. Eh, it'll be fine. Hang on, sirs, the fresh grilled beef is coming. Ignore the fact you very clearly just saw me smack it onto the counter. There, eat up while I scrub the floor because you people don't know how to wipe your feet on the mat outside. I don't actually have a mat outside. It's just fun to complain. Give me your money. Give me your money. Throw the plate over there. Happy I went with the indestructible ones. All right, day's over. Everybody eat. Fine. I've also decided I'm moving the tables around. Here we go. Much more open floor plan now. Day two is done. What secrets do I get to know now? Something Gordon Ramsay level? 
sold, yeah, I only sold like one chicken leg. Ooh, grilled beef went up though. What's our profit looking like? Got a thousand bucks, spent 800 of it because I spoiled everything. We live and we learn. I got a new recipe this time, chicken breast. It looks like a really big carrot and then a jalapeno pepper. Actually, it could very well be worth it. Who is this guy? Are you the health inspector? Who is? Oh God. I might've had to just bribe him off, but it's fine. Won't be making any foolish mistakes today. Are you rotten? No, you're good. You're good. You're good, good, good. Let's go. Whoa, I didn't know I could change my sign. Go with something like that. And then some text that really just doesn't fit like at all. Is that Comic Sans? Perfect. Bruh. And I need a couple bags of kindling. Let's buy an extra bag of coal. Can I pick up like a deep fryer in here at all? No. I would like to make French fries. I just don't have the facilities for that. All right, I mean, I'll unlock chicken breast for now though. That would give me 160 gold. Again though, it looks like it gets served with French fries that I'm not quite ready for yet. Hang on, he's not sitting on the power line. Yep, birds aren't real, confirmed. What it is is that I probably need to get my restaurant's level up to be a little higher. Then I'll be able to unlock the deep fryer. Didn't mean to rhyme there. That just kind of happened. Um, some coals in, kindling in, cooking time. This robot looks like it's cooking extremely weird, but you know what? That's fine. One tomato slice done. Two tomato slice done. Chicken leg. Chicken leg. Grilled beef is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Just gotta flip them. I don't know if presentation matters, but I at least fancied this one up slightly. All right. Thanks for the money. I'm getting 140 bucks now for every one of these beef dishes I serve. Dude, I'm gonna be rich. That guy is eating raw meat doing that cannibal diet thing. Right. Yes, level three restaurant also. And they just took my last beef dish. What's the point of serving beef and chicken legs if nobody ever wants the chicken legs? Incidentally, chicken legs, my nickname in high school. Huh? hurt my feelings. I'm also really enjoying the fact that I just uh, never wash knives. I've been using the same dirty knife since I've opened. This lady just took a dump in the chair, it looks like. What the hell? All right, day three is coming to a close. Seems like people were enjoying what I was chefing. And I just found a bar? Hang on. On. Barkeep, my good man. Let me get this cocktail. It sure does take a while to drink. A few moments later. Oh, oh, I'm feeling the effect of it. it. Is the perfect amount for me to go. Let's play blackjack. 58 bucks on the line. What do you got? You gave me a seven? That's horrible. What are you? Are you only holding a four? Hit me. An 11? Still hit me. 16? I want to punch you in your face. Hit nope. me again. 26? No! That's fine. It's because I didn't gamble enough. Huh? You're always one bet away from winning. A thousand. What am I getting? A six? A nine? Let me get the ace here. 19? You know what? That works. I'll stay. 12? 17? Yes! Oh, doubled my money. It feels so good. Gambling rocks. I can also just throw darts. What is this? I guess this is just a nice way to relax in my free time. Where's the five at all the way up there? Perfect. I won. I gotta come visit that place more often. Wait, I found the deep fryer. Let me purchase this. Oh, I should not have been outside of my store. Whoops, excuse me, pardon me. No, need to move you like right there. Wait, this will be big. I can put French fries on the menu. And to get this gourmet, I need to serve four French fries. So I'm just gonna only have this on my menu today. I need potato and sunflower oil. You got potatoes in here? Here we are. Give me 10 of these. 20 bucks is nothing to a guy like me because I gambled my money away successfully. So I need sunflower oil, ketchup, and mayonnaise to serve this properly. That's ketchup. Where is the sunflower oil game? God, why is it literally five feet tall? Give me one. Thank you. I'm gonna put these by the sink like there's some weird soap dispensers. Okay, so I take the sunflower oil, I pour it in. I'm out of sunflower oil, all right. I take a potato, I slice it, and then I slice the slices to get fries. And then I go, boom. Then I just gotta add a little squirt of mayo and a little squirt of ketchup. Um, am I just gonna dip my hand in here to pick these up, you think? Yep. Yes, I most certainly am. That should be french fries completely ready to eat. Yeah, nice. We are open. Everybody come eat your fries. That's all you're getting today. Let me immediately start prepping another one because that's just basic math. Why are you using a fork and knife? Oh, you're just a freak. That's fine. I guess you're allowed to be a freak once in your life. Second thing of fries are done. Oh, I can't serve them both at the same time. Whoops. I didn't know that. Yes, he took my last thing of fries. Go. No, wait. Why did I pick the fries up? Give me the plate. <laughs> oh, I'm ready to challenge one of the gourmet masters. Just waiting for my invitation. Okay. It's weird to say you're waiting for an invitation now. Oh, sick. My restaurant leveled up. And I think I can handle one more customer. Yeah, we're closed now. Tomorrow is the big day that I get my title. Five-star restaurant owner dominated 
leader of other chefs. Also, accent wall. What do I do? Just hit invite. He'll be there tomorrow. Perfect. Do I gotta like make him a specific dish or something? Let's go hard today then. I'll add the chicken breast, my grilled beef, and then some french fries. Gotta make sure I buy the peppers I need though. It's estimated I'm gonna have 8 to 11 customers this time. Oh man. Uh, let me buy two things of ribeye, two things of chicken breast in. That should probably be enough. Let me get some french fries cooking also. Here we go. French fry dish done for the day. Start cooking my peppers and stuff. Chicken breast dish, also done for the day. Just gonna go ahead and open the store while I start to cook this beef dish. What are the odds that's the first thing people want? Yep, okay, two of the first three customers want the beef dish. Kinda did that one to myself, I admit. Patience, people. Good things come to those who wait. Grilled beef is up. So far, it looks like everybody's loving it. It's my third grilled beef, now also going out the door. Just gonna salt and cut another tomato in a preemptive effort. Is that like what I'm famous for or something? People know me for my beef? Why doesn't everybody know me for my personality, my winning smile, generosity? I'm like the best in all those things. Nope. Oh, and this guy's eating a raw chicken breast. Dude, you really don't want to do that. Thank you, buddy. Oh, he's here. One of the master chefs are here. Hey, buddy, what do you want? He needs the hottest chicken legs with the hottest ingredients in it. Oh. Now that just wasn't on my menu, was it? Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Two chicken legs, please. Thank you. I'm gonna give him like two extra shakes of chili pepper. This guy seems to be about his hotness. The chicken legs gonna be a little bit overcooked. That's fine. Bon appetit, buddy. What do we think? You're dumping salt on it. Seems like it's a little too spicy for you. Is that what you're telling me? You want your arteries to clog so you die quicker, maybe? That seems good. Do you seem to have some promise? I must approve your dish. Yes. Why didn't he pay? I feel like I just got robbed. It's fine. Let me finish out this day. I wasn't aware this is an industry of thievery. Everybody, thank you for your patronage. Go home. I don't know. Die, too. You guys are annoying a little bit. Oh, we passed the test, and I think there's only one way I can properly celebrate. 3,000 on blackjack. Oh, I got a 14. She's got a four. I might as well hit. 18. Oh, we're up big. Stay. 11. 17. And we win. God, I love managing a restaurant. If you want to see more of this game, leave me a comment down below. Right now, I think that's going to be all for me, though. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you. <laughs>